visit Pokemon card market and buy Pokemon cards from base set up to latest evolution set with best prices, secured system and easy handling. Only for European players. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In today's video we'll be looking at deck for the Legacy format and this is a Zorark Darkrai Sableye. So what is very interesting about Zorark, that's for sure he is a Brutal Bash attack. So with two uh, Darkness Energies, this Pokemon can strike for 120 damage if we actually have six Darkness Pokemons in play. So with Dark Cloak, we can add 20 more damage counters with something like a plus power we can add 10 more damage counters and this is going to be 150 base damage and of course with Verbing and Hypnotoxic in play that's going to be 180 and after one hit knockout Darkrai EX and after one hit knockout any other EX with 180 HP in the Legacy so basically this is a one hit knockout deck also Darkrai with a nice spear and Dark Club will provide us with the free retreat and snipe to the bench so yeah, you can one hit knock on one of your opponent Pokemons and still be able to snipe 30 on the bench. That's just insane. So I really like it. And on the other side, of course, Sableye with uh, Junk Hunt can pull some uh, item cards from Discord Pile. Execute will be here for the propagation, so will allows us to basically um, uh, play it. Um, as many times as we want per turn, so we can have free computer search, free uh, junk hunt, uh, free junk harm, free ultra ball is just insane. And of course, one copy of Jirachi with Steel Radiance, just in case if we stuck with our supporter card with the ultra ball, we can always pull that Jirachi and have um, supporter third one. So that's pretty much it from the Pokemon line 15 Pokemons, 35 trainer cards, and 10 energies. Also, I'm running 4 copies of Dark and Special Energy cards, which will allow me to add 10 more damage. Um, when I actually attack with my Darkness Pokemon. So, yeah, uh, it's it's a bad card against Lost Rebuild, that's for sure, but it's way too good, um, especially uh, to increase damage if I don't have uh, people Toxic Laser, for example. So, from the item cards, two copies of Bicycle, very good card, especially with the Junk Hunt. Um, you can just draw cards until you have four in your hand. I really like it. Since this deck can burn a uh, hand pretty quickly, Bicycle can be very good substitute for um, supporter draw. Competitor Search is a ice ace pack. Um, you can also think about playing uh, something like uh, Life Dew. But since we want to one hit knock up everything, Life Dew is not that effective, so we don't want to. Uh, mess with the Dark Cloak, so Computer Search makes more sense. Uh, two copies of Dark Patch, um, yeah, a lot of players run four copies of Dark Patch thinking, well, that's just insane. You don't need four uh, copies of Dark Patches. Two Dark Patches are just sweet spot, just because uh, you want to have space for some other cards like lasers, like junk arms, like a catcher, super tool scrapper, um, town map is also good, for example. So, yeah, a lot of different good cards that can be tech. Escape Rope. No doubt about it, you need one copy of Escape Rope because it's way too good. If you cannot flip a coin, sometimes Escape Rope can bring you a victory because you can have free retreat um, with your Dark Ray. So Escape Rope makes a lot of sense. Uh, four copies of Hypnotoxic Laser for extra damage from the poison, of course, to put your opponent in the sleep mode. And four copies of Junk Harp, no doubt about that. Really no need to think uh, to talk too much about it. Uh, single plus power is a secret weapon tech, so it can add 10 more damage from nowhere and one hit knockout our opponent Pokemon. So I really like it. You should definitely see that in my upcoming video. Um, one copy of Pokemon Catcher, flip a coin you've had, um, catch one of your opponent benched Pokemon and put it into front. I really like it, but unfortunately it's a flip a coin, so it's not good anymore, but still you need to have at least one Pokemon Catcher. Um, single Super Road, of course, to recycle uh, Pokemons or basic energies from Disco Pile. One copy of Tool Scrapper, of course, very good card. Uh, and then we have one Town Map. Uh, I really like the Town Map because it can actually show me the price cards. And I mean, 99% of the time I know what I have in my price cards, but the thing is that I don't know where the exact card is located, so Town Map can help a lot. Four copies of Ultra Ball, of course, two copies of Rubik City Gym for that Stadium uh, War, and of course, extra 30 damage. And then I'm running eight supporter line and eight supporter cards, four different supporters, and one copy of Getsis. Um, it's a good card, especially if you can start turn one with uh, Ultra Ball for Jirachi and then Getsis and force your opponent to shuffle all his item cards in his deck, and then you can drop the 
exact number of cards for exact number of his cards shuffled in the deck and I really like it because it can also um, reveal his hand so you can know what he had in his hand. Um, two copies of N, four copies of Professor Juniper of course, and one copy of Professor's Oak New Theory. So two more tool cards are gonna be Dark Low for extra 20 damage and then I'm running 10 energies, six of them are gonna be basic darkness energies and four of them are gonna be special darkness energies for extra 10 damage to my Pokemons with darkness type. So really like the deck. Um, I play very interesting battle and I managed to win in a, in a single turn. Not in a single turn but in the last turn. Um, so it was 20 minute battle. You should definitely enjoy watching it. Also uh, don't forget to subscribe for that um, Evolution Booster Packs giveaway um, that I will actually um, announce the winner uh, for a few days so make sure to check also that video so let's do that battle so you can actually see this deck in action so see you in the game all right guys so time for some legacy battles um, something fresh something new um, today i'm playing with a brutal bash zorark and of course i'm playing with that double gore zergy so um, that's just insane but who cares I can go first, so let's take a look at the opening hand. Starting just with my Zerua. There is no energy card, which means that I can't use my Ascension. Alright. Um, Bright Down Latias. Interesting. I'm gonna play my Ultra Ball here. Uh, I'm gonna discard Dark Badge and something like a Super Oath in order to get that Dark Ray for the free retreat down to my bench. And then I'm gonna play my Professor Zoke New Theory. Okay, six new cards. Um, there is a Sableye, two Darkness Energies. Unfortunately, I can't use Ascension turn 1, so I'm gonna just pass my turn. Next turn, my attack will do 20 more damage if I add one more special darkness energy um, to my Zerua. So there is a Burning City Gym and the Flowstone and Professor Juniper for 7. So, Colors Machine Glaceon, interesting switch. Water Energy Discard, there is one Deoxy and Eevee. More than that, three energies uh, probably not gonna happen, but it's bright down Latias with that ability, which is a very good one. So another darkness energy, of course, will be attached. If I use my junk harm, well, I guess I can use junk harm um, for that dark patch and then go with my Professor Johnny Burr and grab seven new cards. This is the best thing I can do. It's better than Oak Theory, I guess. So, uh, Johnny Per for 7. All I really need is... Yeah, all I really need is one card, but it looks like I'm not gonna be able to get that card. So, I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about I'm gonna be knocked out next turn from that um, Deoxy. Probably I will. If he have Helix Force 30... Oh no, I'm not gonna be knocked out, so I can use my Ascension. Don't worry about it. Okay, so let's go with Ascension into Zorark. I stuck a little bit, but um, on the other side, Poison will be 30 damage just in case if he can do that somehow. And on the other side, Helix Force can go maximum for 30 plus. Yeah, it can be 90. It can be 90. Minus 20, 70. And enough with the laser for 100 and for the knockout. So, hmm. Yeah, that's a little bit scary, to be honest, because I might lose my Zorark here, but hopefully that's not gonna happen. I have another Dark Patch, I have another Dark Patch, which is a good one, but something like an Ultra Ball will be great. Let's say energy attachment from my hand to Darkrai, Ultra Ball for Execute and Verbank, uh, then Dark Patch, then... Uh, Bicycle, but uh, there is another random receiver. Okay, for N. So right now I know that my opponent have Collector and N sitting in his hand. Two different 
supporters to use and also two mystery cards uh, i still don't see a keeping toxic laser this, so this is gonna be just 70 so luckily i managed to survive and my top deck is just a tool scrapper of course i'm gonna play that tool scrapper to get rid of one card from my hand i'm gonna play my energy attachment down to my dark ray and i still can't play my bicycle which means I can go with my Dark Rush, which is going to be 160. If I was attaching one more energy onto my Zorark, I would knock out my opponent Deoxy without any problem. Of course, if that was a Darkness Special Energy for 10 extra damage. Decide not to do that because uh, I want to use advantage of my Dark Ray EX next turn, so I can just go with my um, Dark Lock, a Night Spear for 90 30. If I can maybe somehow top deck even. Pokemon Catcher, that can be uh, better. I can always take the risk and Junk Hunt, um, but I would probably do that if I knew that my top deck is gonna be... Okay, never mind, I will still promote my uh, Dark Ray in front, because I can retreat for free. Oh, there we go with the M, okay. So, one N from my opponent. Um, Alright, Zerura Jirachi Dark Patch. Hypnotoxic laser, stuff like that. There is a Ultra Ball, the new one from Sun and Moon, just in case um, if you wonder from which set this is. So I have another Zerua, that's great. I have um, Dark Patch, it's unusable unfortunately. Then I have two lasers, Ultra Ball and Jirachi. Okay, so one cure with that Ultra Ball, so right now my opponent have five Pokemons in play. And Helix Force for the one-hit knockout. It's pretty much the same, but uh, yeah, almost same. I need first to get rid of that Frozen City, that is for sure. Um, nice top deck, really it is. Take that Hypnotoxic Laser, my friend. After that... After that, I'm gonna put my Jirachi on the bench and use the... Uh, play Gatsis. How... How bad is that? Oh my goodness, Gatsis for zero. Yeah, took the gamble, get nothing, time to retreat onto my Sableye. Pass my turn, I'm grabbing prize card, uh, which is gonna be... Let's see, the first one is N and the second is Dark Club. Okay, not bad. Definitely not bad. At least um, he can't one hit knock on my Sableye, which is a good thing. On the other side, I have another laser in my hand. I have Zorak, so I can evolve. I have also, also Dark, Clo Dark Club. But the biggest problem is that I'm not running double cores energies. I'm not going to be able to use my um, Pearl Bash or Dark Rush um, without being able to play their Dark Bash. So 50 damage from that Raiden Knuckle. And energy will go probably to that Kyurem on the bench. But maybe even to Deoxy, who knows. He can attach any kind of energy, Psychic Energy to Deoxy. Okay, I'm fine with that. So, one copy of Hypnotoxic Laser. There we go. So, can I one hit knockout somehow? He's Tendrous. I think I'm not gonna be able to do that, but I'm looking forward to play one more Ultra Ball for one more Zorua. Maybe even for that Execute. Even actually for execute sounds a little bit better because I can discard right now finally my execute in my disco pile. And right now I can use that propagation. I need to start deal some damage counters, that's for sure. So I want to use my Ultra Ball for that execute and for that Zorark and grab another execute. I still need that basic darkness energy in my disco pile, but I don't have a single one, so I'm gonna play my... I can even play Junk Hunt, but I really don't need to do that. Alright, I took two damage counters. I can play Propagation and 
junk hunt for that super road. Alright, so super road for me. I can recycle back uh, my Pokemons. And then I still need somehow to retreat, but I can't, so I'm gonna play my bicycle. Put two more Zeruas on the bench. And that's gonna be pretty much it for now. So Darkrai is ready for next turn. I completely missed that I don't have energy attached to my Sableye, but luckily his Tantarus didn't wake up, which means next turn I can go with my um, Darkrai Night Spear for 110, 130. And with the Verbing sitting in play, that's gonna be more than enough for the knockout. Oh, that's a huge Colrus for 10. I don't know why I'm not playing Colrus. Not a big fan of the Colrus, especially if I start turn 1 with it. So, yeah, there's a reason why I don't play Colrus. But I should probably take at least one. And there's another Tool Scrapper, so... Dark Glow is just discarded. But Dark Ray is ready. Dark Ray will be heavy attacker. Oh, I'm gonna be knocked out from that poison, it looks like. Okay, so anything as a top deck like a Junk Army is welcome because I can then play Bicycle for 4. Oh, there is a big switch. Ah, interesting. That Bright Down Latias is making me a lot of problems at this moment. But I have answer to this. It's gonna be Hypnotoxic Laser and it's gonna be Bicycle for 3. Still no energy, but at least there is a Burbank City Gym and another Zorar, so I'm kind of happy to see that. I'm gonna be knocked out, that's the biggest concern, but who cares. He managed to wake up, so only one energy and he can deal crazy damage, so um, the best thing for me is to promote my Zorua in front. I think it, it, it would be better if I was uh, using also my catcher and maybe grabbing one more card and maybe um, forcing his Deoxy to to be promoted in the front. Still we are both equal down to four prize cards. Um, there is one Prism Energy attached and Retreat onto his um, Tandrus. That's gonna be more than enough for the knockout. And finally I'm gonna be able to do something here. So I'm thinking about using that Catcher and Lysa and catching his Deoxy on the bench. Um, probably right now he will go for that energy on the Jolteon. Oh, there is a Hypnotoxic Laser with the Shadow Triad. Okay. And one Raiden Knuckle for the knockout. So, that Tandros right now making a good job. Okay, so Curium with two energies. It's still far from over. I mean, I have 20 damage on my Dark Race, so I need definitely to think about that. Um, yeah, looking to play that Ultra Ball. Looking to play that Ultra Ball here, and... Let's see what I can get with it. I wish I can get another Jirachi, but I can't. I have two more John Carms. I simply cannot pull a single one. Let's see what we can find with Pokemon Catcher. I have something on my mind like uh, Catching his Jolteon. Good thing is that I can use something like a Junk Hunt here. Going all in, going crazy. I'm gonna put two item cards from my Disco Pilot to my hand. So, two item cards. The one is going to be Bicycle, and the second one is going to be Hypnotoxic Laser. There we go. Okay, I know that he can knock me out. I know that he had that access on to his um, laser, but it's better to knock out uh, Sableye instead of dealing damage to my Darker, because I simply want to one-hit knock out his Tendrus. If I want to do that, I need Hypnotoxic Laser and I need Dark Claw. 
and it's gonna be one hit knockout on his stand Rosy X, and then he can deal some damage uh, with his Deoxy to my Dark Ray, then I can retreat onto my Zoroark and uh, finish the job with the Zoroark. Hopefully that's gonna be possible. I think it is possible. It all depends on what I can drop with my Bicycle. Okay, so right now I can go for 110. 140. Oh, nice. Professor Johnny Fur. That's more than enough. Right now, I'm just searching for that Dark Cloak. Bicycle for 3. Well, there is one energy to be played. And I'm thinking about adding my opponent down to 2 or just going all in. Um, 110, 120, 150. No, I'm gonna play my Johnny Fur for 7. Who cares? I simply need that John Carb, and I managed to get one. Okay, let me see something. 120, 130, 160. Yeah, I need, I need Dark Cloak. I need Dark Cloak. No doubt about that. Okay, so there is no possible chance that he can somehow knock out my Dark Ray. Night Spear, 3 damage counters to who? To his Deoxy, for sure. So 130, 140, 30 for Poison. More than enough for the knockout, I'm gonna take Hypnotoxic Laser and another Darkness Energy in my hand. Okay, so what can he do here? I have Escape Probe for next turn. Oh, there's a Deoxy with one energy in, in the front, and a rock guard. And plasma energy, so that's 30, 120, minus 20, 100, so I will have 120 damage. I need that last John Carmen, I need Heads of the Catcher to win this game. Maybe I can do something else here. Brutal Bash, 20, 40, 60, 80, 110, 120 maximum. On the other side, 110. Let me see something. Um, I can pull draw here. 110, 120, 130. Plus power 140. Yeah, actually, I can pull a weak 3 here. Only if he promote EX. If he promote non EX, I'm gonna knock him out with my Zorark. That's, that's for sure. So, let's see. Escape Rope. Doing a great job. The last card is a Junk Arm, so I will have opportunity one more turn to play Escape Rope or something else. Something like Pokemon Catcher. But if he promotes EX in the front, then the game is over. Um, let me just count one more time. So, uh, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. Yeah, I have enough for the knockout. So, um, this is a plus power and hypotoxic laser, and that's it. That's the knockout for the last prize, for the last two prize cards, actually. And I can also spread the damage to his um, Bench Deoxy. So at the end, that plus power actually make a whole different here, and basically I managed to pull the one hit knockout with my dark ray and also spread the damage to the bench. That's just insane. It's insane when you can strike for 170 and spread 30 damage to the bench. This is just way too much. So those darkness special energy cards was actually MVP in this game. If there was a loss removal in my opponent deck. I wouldn't feel comfortable, that's for sure, there, there, there would be no chance that I could strike for so many damage counters, but in this situation, it helps a lot, and at the end, I managed to grab a very, very huge victory here, and I'm definitely happy with it. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video, don't forget to hit the likes up, or dislike this video if you didn't like it. Um, as usual, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave comments below, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for that 36 booster packs giveaway from the Evolutions. 
make sure to check that so if you have any questions as always leave the comment below or send me a message uh, on the youtube or facebook till the next time have a nice day wherever you are and see you tomorrow so goodbye